the sewers. This is the Turtle Power Podcast. This is your audio source for all the news, reviews, and insight into the world of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Now join your hosts, Brian, Alex, and Darby. Bossa Nova! Bossa Nova? Chevy Nova? Excellent! Now it's time for the Turtle Power Podcast. Welcome back to another episode of the Turtle Power Podcast. Now, as uh, you may or may not remember from our last episode, this is going to be part two of our Comic-Con recap. And joining me, as always, are Darby and Alex, and also our special guest, Toka. So let's pick up where we left off. You know what? That just reminded me. uh, Before we move along, um, every time we we have somebody new on the show for the first time, we like to give them the, uh, what I like to call the Great Turtle Power Podcast Questionnaire. Which uh, uh, really is not that great. Um, uh, right. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, um, w- with what incarnation of the TMNT did you um, originally become a fan with? Well, my exposure was with the, actually the original comics, but I don't think really? I became a fan until the Archie series. Wow. Interesting. Um, That's the first uh, one. Uh, I, I no, I do. Uh, God, uh, I don't even know how old I was. I was pretty young. Um, eighty six. I went to the comic shop and I, I was like, buy, I remember buying like a He Man magazine, and they had the tur- the original Turtles books out. I, uh, God, I I want to say that I saw one of the reprints with with uh, with uh, one of the Utrams. But mm. it couldn't have been that. I, but I remember seeing the Turtles um, books, and I was like, boy, that's kind of crazy. Uh, yeah, I, I kind of started getting exposed to the cartoon, and, and I was into it a little bit. Um, but it was it was that uh, – the Wingnut and Screwloose book. <laughs> ah, nice. Uh, You'll have to you'll have to forgive me. I don't remember that the Archie the Archie number, but it was the the famous cover where they're flying overhead and the the wrestling turtles are yeah uh, looking at them like all freaking out like oh my god we're being invaded <laughs> by uh, ring nut and screw loose or something. Awesome, the famous yeah. Ken McCrony cover. It was a really iconic issue, and that was probably my very first turtle book. I'm like, after that, I'm like, okay, this is like the most fucking awesome read I've ever read. <laughs> um, I'm in. So, and then um, then that's just kind of where where it all started for me. So I don't know about so, everybody else, so, but yeah, the Archie well, book really really struck me. Uh, so I, that whole I, crew, this this was I, just it, really it, tight. So. Now, what, what about – and you don't have to have necessarily a single one, but do you have a favorite character? I wonder who my who Toka's favorite character is. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you can't even ask him who his favorite turtle is because Toka is technically a turtle as well, so – <laughs> yeah, see. I got to know hard why Toka, though. Toka was like a uh, one-off in a movie who really didn't have many lines. I'm just curious as to why. Animated series for one episode. Okay, he had, he had that helps your case. Uh, uh, he was in Turtles Forever. Toka, Toka yeah. and Razor have got a little bit of a following, and I'm, I'm more than willing to uh, spearhead that. Um <laughs> It was the I, I think again, dude. It comes back to that sentimentality, that personal connection. Um, I remember I was still in school, and I, I, I mean, I had a 
a, a really rough time in school and um my dad just he's like look let's go to the dollar theater you've had a rough day at school and and it, it, it was pretty bad i was i was i was in some deep deep oh, yeah, kasha! so <laughs> whatever the case my, my pop you know he, he took me to go see turtles too and i I remember seeing the uh, the first one with my sister and, and really liking it, so I was looking forward to it. And then uh, it was just, I don't know, as soon as I saw those two big monsters bursting through, you know, those wall, the cages in that movie, I just like, oh, my God. And then we find out that, uh, you know, the, the professor had retarded the um mutagen he'd poisoned the yep. mutagen that yep. they were yep. mutated from. so they were actually token rouser might have actually been a little bit more uh threatening if it wasn't for the professor right well, and they I, I, I don't know why it just was all psychological the fact that token rouser had imprinted shredder as their surrogate right. I, I just thought yeah. it was brilliant i'm like oh my fucking god that's just insane uh, somebody and, uh, who likes the villains i, I can know. understand that uh, um, well, well, and again, it do, it, it, and it, as it's turned out, Toka has kind of, in my opinion, he's kind of been connected to so many different aspects of the fandom in general. I mean, it all kind of revolves around, yeah, Toka, and I, I don't, again, I just, he, he's, to me, he's like a Kevin Bacon, you know, uh, Steve Bissett <laughs> from, uh, gosh, he, he's a legendary creator, uh, you know, the Swamp Thing, the character that he originally uh, uh, created for Playmates Toys would was the uh, original design that uh, what became Toka. And so, um, you know, it's it's just – that's just one example. But, you know, Ryan Brown, Steve Murphy, Steve Bissett, these guys have grown to become my mentors in a way from afar. And so um, – I've got many, many, many "quote unquote" favorite characters, um, and so that's a very tough question. In general, Shredder, Toka, Razar are my favorites, but I've got nice. way too many. To uh, yeah, dude, it's just it's it's just too personal. Which so, one of the Ninja um, Turtles yeah. do you like the best? Um, Venus de Milo is pro- no. Um, <laughs> she doesn't again, exist. It's a long, drawn-out question, and it's too complex. It just depends on what mood I'm in. I that's, used to be real fond no, of Donatello, hey, but now that's I'm just actually kind of a really good over answer. The place. That's a good answer. Um, how yeah. about uh, how about a favorite incarnation of the turtles? What you know, comic series, animated series, movie? It's, 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 it's was probably my favorite. No, I'm kidding. I just <laughs> so that to piss you guys off. Uh, what favorite? It's incarnation? working. Oh man. Ah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, I've been okay with a lot of them. I am at this point. I'm, I am very fond of the 2003 incarnation. Um, you are amongst friends. Yes, not alone in that one. It was. Yeah. It was such a great run. Uh, the you know the what five six seven years they had that I just yeah. five. <laughs> uh, yeah, <laughs> well, there were five. I mean, there were five. Well, Once they went to the five. future, that didn't happen. There were five seasons. I well, you know, I just again, I just kind of went along with it. it I I didn't, you know, I I wasn't gonna nitpick it. I just went along with it and I enjoyed it. Yeah. Um, even when they went into the future or whatever, I just, you know, uh, there was a lot of great story arcs, a great character development. A lot of what we're seeing in the IDW series, I think that. The 2003 show set the tone for that, and now look at—we've got this really cool IDW series that almost has the same flavor of the 2003 series. So, yeah. um, the, I, I, I am again—I'm very open to many different interpretations of turtles, but uh, the 2003 show w- was really kick-ass. There so, was, there was. I a, mean, again, uh... just look at Baxter. Yeah, well, Baxter, the the villain that would not die. No, <laughs> no, <laughs> he would just keep not, coming back. Just, yeah, <laughs> he was so he was so fun and so funny and so dark. I mean, and, and he stole the show. He really did. I, I oh, think yeah. Baxter proved himself to be one of the turtles' greatest villains. Yep. So there you go, uh, guys. Uh, help me out here. If uh, try to. Uh, Help me remember this. It, I believe it was Comic Con last year, 
at the Nickelodeon. When he trashed people for liking the 2003 series? Yes. Was that yeah. Comic-Con? We talked about yeah. it. Oh, yeah, that was Comic-Con. That was such a dick move <laughs> on that guy's part. It was right at the beginning of the panel. And, uh, the, no, the no, release... it was New York. It was in New York. It was a New York, com- was a New York Comic-Con. New York? Yeah. And it was the, uh, yeah, the host... Uh, he got up and was From Entertainment Weekly or something. Mm-hmm. Like that. yeah, yeah, that's it. Yeah. Oh, really? And yeah. he got up there and he was like, "Guys, this cause it was before the series started." And he's like, "Yeah, this show is going to be so great." Uh, you know, there's he was saying something like the you know for all you people who like the you know the original series, you'll love this one. Uh, and then said something like kind of like under his breath, like. Uh, not like you weirdos who like the 2003 series or something yeah, like that. No, he, yeah, yeah. Well, he said I the 2000 certain... series and then said for all you weirdos who like that one. Well, you'll it, well, and you'll notice from the past decade, there's a lot of uh, confusion people actually have about the 2003 series, and he he, he might be. I mean, I'm I'm playing devil's advocate here, but he might be. Uh, Kind of of that class of people that just don't understand that those what those first uh, four four seasons roughly yeah three or four seasons were based a lot on the original comics, comics. from Mirage yep so I mean they they just don't get it I mean I I I do not know how many times I would run into people the past decade like. Oh, the 2003 series. Oh, I don't like it. No, it, it, oh, it's not the turtles I remember. I'm like, well, what are the turtles you remember? Yeah, right. Because the turtles I remember from the past, you know, 20 plus years were Mirage turtles. Mm-hmm. And so, I mean, are you remembering the Bebop and Rocksteady turtles, the cuddly ones? More power to you. you <laughs> the do, cuddly hey, that's great. ones. No, that's, that's great. awesome. I, yeah. you know. Bebop and Rocksteady, those are names that just keep kept popping up and popping up. Crane, Bebop, Rocksteady. Yeah. I mean, and that's that's kind of the only turtles that they know. More power to them, but you know, I think uh, give it maybe another year or so. I think I'm. I don't know about you, but after 2012, I was already feeling a little bit of nostalgia for the 2003 series. I yeah. really was. Yeah. Absolutely. So you know, um, so it, it set it set the tone on just how badass the turtles really can be. Yeah. Oh, you know, absolutely. I mean, to the to the. Yeah, to the greater public. We've already known this. You, me, uh, yeah. we've already known this. But the the gr- greater populace are just like, oh, be a bop and rock steady, cuddly turtles, blah, blah. Okay, great. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. You, know, you kind of got to. And, and it might just be with the issues of releasing that series. I don't know it. You know if, if there are any issues with, re- with releasing it, but um, – Whoever has the rights to it or or whatever, they need to they need to figure it uh, out. Nickelodeon has full rights to it. No, to my understanding, Nickelodeon okay. has all they all have right. the whole rights so, to it. Uh, it's and, all mixed. There's no there should be no issue. Uh, whatever their whatever re, their reasoning delaying that those releases, you know, hard copy or digital, whatever. I mean, um, that's it's it's well, just such a there. shame that it is that difficult to get a hold of, you know. Um, I, frankly, I would like I would like to get a hold of uh, it back to the sewers. I mean, you're gonna have to yeah. order some like Australian releases if you yep. want that. Yep. So, um, yeah, yeah it's, it it's, is a little it's a shame. It's it's a shame. Um, I, yeah, this is just going to get me worked up. But uh, <laughs> well, um, I can go ahead and bring up Venus to Milo. Let's talk about her thighs. I was no, I'm kidding. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. I, I dropped off. I dropped off for a second. Are you upset about the lack of availability for the O3 series? Or? I am. I am upset about Apparently. the lack of availability of a proper commercial release. Not talking about the fact that you can just go on YouTube and watch it. Okay, I was going to say because you know if you got a place. To- Three or Xbox, you can just watch it on YouTube on like a full screen TV. Sure, there's there's people yeah. who have uploaded every single episode on there, so you can just watch it. Right, but it's right. for the for it to. I mean, we're still in the world where it needs to be properly released for it to be considered. And that's hardcore, legitimate. hard copy release. You know, decent. Format, you know, that would be just wonderful. I mean, guys, yeah, I'd still love to see a, a North American release of Turtles Forever. 
Yeah. Uh, uh, you know, a nice, uh, you know, a director's, version of that. A director's release uh, was, edition, yeah, not, not the yeah. one that came out. Because the, the one that came out on DVD was not uh, the full version. No. So. I'd like to point uh, out. It was, uh, it was yeah, it was kind of was, shoddy. Yeah. I can't get Venus de Milo's dies out of my head now. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You know, no, it's boy. really it's not that bad. It's not so, that bad. Toka, Toka was with friends, so he had to bring up Venus de Milo's hey, dies. He's, no, he's still with he's friends. Still with friends. out with you. <laughs> Shut up, Darby. Yeah, no. <laughs> um, all right. Hey, let's, let's talk about this. This is the only... Uh, uh, portion of Turtles news that we have not discussed yet, and uh, it's because they did not have any sort of panel at Comic Con. I wonder uh, what a move. <laughs> uh, probably a smart move. They may have rioted. <laughs> if to shreds. Um, now, it, it, most likely, uh, it wouldn't have been. I think at this point, from everything that's been coming out on the web, uh, I think a lot of those fears that people had um, are going to be fixed. They're, they're, they're going to be. It's just that the problem is that nobody knows that yet. And everyone still thinks it's... That Michael Bay is the devil? Yes. And that he's, uh, you know, well, making him, well, you know, aliens and everything like that. It's from that original leak script that came out. Everyone still thinks that's what this movie's going to be. I don't think it is because of all the shots we've been seeing. It's not. Obviously, it's absolutely they have not. they changed the script. Yeah. But what bothers me is the shots that we're seeing obviously yeah. tell me yeah. and everybody else that Wrath is the one, like, trying to save the three turtle, the other three turtles who have been captured. That's what it looks like. Yeah, that's, that's what, it, that's what it's like. I do love um, the, the turtle van or party van or whatever they're going to call it. I, I really do like that. I saw that I out. saw a comment online. It may have been from uh, from Alex, actually. I can't remember who it was from. Uh, forgive me for uh, whoever said this, if you're listening. Um, uh, it said that it uh, looks like Donnie uh, got to be friends with a screen print. <laughs> somebody does screen print because <laughs> that's not painted on there that's that's definitely screen printed on onto the turtle van so um but uh yeah there's so this was during wow. comic con well like okay before we get to that first let's talk about this because we haven't talked about it since um we confirmed that william fitchner he's going to be playing shredder but yeah, but he's no. not playing a Rokusaki. He's apparently. not playing a Rokusaki. That's correct. This was a uh, an interview he gave uh, while doing some press for the uh, <laughs> the very very popular movie <laughs> that that did so well. Um, <laughs> I can't. I can't believe how bad uh, that Lone Ranger did. But um, anyway, really? uh, he was. He was doing. Some... I, I, I haven't seen. I don't. I don't. Yeah. I, no. I'm not saying how bad it is. How bad it did in the in the bo- in the box office. It, oh really? No. It did. Oh, okay. It did Whoa. really poor numbers. Um, I don't know if it was a marketing Whoa. thing or what, but yeah, it was. It was. A, it was a, and the like, trailers looked awful. <sighs> the trailers just looked awful. Yeah. So uh, I I I don't know I no I didn't see it either no that's the problem Nobody the, the went film and saw itself it. I've heard is actually very well done I I don't have an opinion because I just haven't I, right. I haven't had time to see any damn movies sure. this maybe it, maybe that's what it is maybe it was a time of year when it came out everybody's busy doing other stuff or something I well don't know. there was a lot of big blockbusters that have, you know the, in the theaters that that were out as that's well true. so that's so true. anyway so anyway he uh, he was doing some press for Lone Ranger yeah. and. Uh, somebody asked uh, about the turtles. Like, several people asked about the yeah. turtles, but with with one of the interviewers, he uh, he talked a little bit about um, his character. He said, uh, "So this is him. This is quoting uh, William, Fitchner. William Fitchner. He Says I actually play a guy named Eric Sachs um, in the movie uh, and." He goes through a few stages in his existence. Um, and then uh, he was asked about if he's going to be Japanese. And he says, you know, uh, 
You know, I, I think it would be much more exciting to find those things out as it unfolds. Uh, well, he's all. He's I mean, not, well, he's or Asian in any way whatsoever. No, he's not. He's not Asian at all. I mean, so. Such Japanese he could be uh, Japanese descent, kind of like you know. I mean, Brandon Lee didn't look Asian. Well, Lee is an Asian name. Well, yeah, but I mean, I, 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 still, I mean, I know well, plenty it, of Asian-looking people. The only that thing have that, American names. You're Asian-looking, and you're Spanish. What's your point? The only thing that's kind of a little, little bit of an itch for me, aside from this, is the. Uh, the casting of the uh, Channel Six news crew, man, that's really, yeah. really stretched. Like, yeah. oh boy, we're gonna see Vernon. <laughs> yeah, I, I do think the casting is well done it's for what Bernadette they're doing, Thompson. but it's yeah, yeah. Bernadette. Yeah, it's yeah. about just... Bernadette Thompson. Oh, yeah. We got to see <laughs> pictures of her. Uh, yeah, that her double. Would be, yeah, yeah, would be. Uh, <laughs> that's gonna be fun. I, so, I you know, I'm okay. Okay with it. I'm actually okay with the the look of what apparently are the foot soldiers. Yeah, I guess I, I actually find it very disturbing and creepy. Actually, all oh, those masks are scary. The Jabberwockies. That. That's what Alex called um, them. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> it, oh, exactly. Yeah. I'm I'm okay with that. Um, one thing that keeps bothering me, but get, getting overlooked, but I actually think is brilliant casting is Moss Def as Baxter Stockman. That works actually. Yeah. Oh. I think that it works. I, really I, works. I, I like I like Moss Def a lot. Yeah, he's I like Moss Def, and I think that. Huh. He's definitely underrated. Well, maybe we'll, maybe we'll. Yeah. So, well, maybe we'll get to that. see some monsters too. Who knows? Yeah, that would know. be that would be good. I mean, this this all goes towards the what I said. Uh, I don't know if it was the last episode or the one before that, but that this is essentially going to be a live action version of the original animated series. They're bringing in I a guess, lot of uh, those characters. But um, Baxter's black apparently since most stuff is playing him. Well, well I mean uh, there's there's uh, some uh, changes. It, 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 maybe it's just me, but I always thought Baxter should have been black to be Absolutely. Yeah. Totally. Absolutely. Yeah. Of yeah. course. Yeah. Baxter Baxter again, what worked for the original cartoon was fine. It was cute. Mm-hmm. But I, 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 I even have my own qualms about certain aspects of the Turtles fan, uh, not fandom, but the, uh, you know, the archetypes and all that. Yeah. Well, Baxter, it just, I don't know, just, it, he, he was cool as a fly, I guess, but that was not my favorite version of Baxter. So there's a little bit of stuff I get nitpicky about. You sure. Know? What about all that product um, placement in the sewers? <laughs> the hold on, hold on, hold on, so- before, hold on, hold on. Before we get there, hold on. Let, really quickly, uh, there was a quote unquote Ninja Turtles movie poster that came out. Uh, I think what this is, is that this was going to be the movie poster when it was still originally called Ninja Turtles based off of that first script. Yeah. But I think that, you know, even though it came out at some event, I think that it's an old poster. I think that when we do finally see a poster, it's not going to look like that anymore. We've already had several instances of uh, knowing that it is called Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. That's back in the name and everything. So, um, uh, I don't think we have to worry about that, but okay. So I just really wanted quickly wanted to get that. So let's get to these photos that have been coming out. Um, they've somebody sneaked in a <laughs> phone camera or a camera phone into the uh, into the sewer and um, holy product placement, Batman! <laughs> yeah. uh, for all you folks that have uh, Pizza Hut stock, uh, congratulations. Um, Serious. All I could think of was Transformers when all of the Transformers were Chrysler, uh, not Chrysler, GM cars. Yeah. Well, it's the same guy, so. I know it's the same guy, but that's like the first thing that came to my head. Yeah. Like, all the freaking Transformers just happened to land in like GM car lots and all turned into GM cars. Yeah. Um, and then the one car that wasn't GM, it was a bad guy. <laughs> so pizza's got a lot of uh, little uh, product placements within the photos you're talking about. Little, little. Yeah, there's uh, they're, all their furniture is Pizza Hut box based. It's made out of boxes of okay. Pizza Hut. 
Yeah. And then there's but, there's okay. uh, so it's, it's basically it's basically kind of like uh, all the pizza product placements from the first movie and the was, Turtles two the arcade good. game on steroids. Right, right, that's what it was. It was <laughs> right. It's not nearly as subtle. The first movie was Dominoes, but first yeah, no, this Domino's. isn't near. Like Alex just said, it's not nearly as subtle. It is like our furniture is made out of Pizza Hut boxes. Yeah. Uh, oh, that's right. Because it was both. Uh, remember, if you remember, wasn't wasn't that a lot of fun? Oh yeah, kasha! Both Domino's and Pizza Hut got in on the first yeah, movie. Yeah, because Pizza Hut was the arcade game. Yep. Um, pizza you can had, see. Well, I don't even remember the original VHS release. That pizza Hut had a commercial uh, on. That, yeah, remember? that's true. Pizza yeah. Hut also did the coming yeah. out of their snow store. Yep. So that's right. There you go. Yeah, um, true. Later, Domino's, I believe, sponsored. Uh, if you remember the pizza tossing turtles, the original ones. Yes, yeah, absolutely. Domino's, Domino's had a promotion where you could get like some kind of coupon in the in the, the toy box. So, hmm. Domino's and pizza, yeah, they were pretty much uh, jumping on the turtle bandwagon whenever they could. So, well, Pizza Hut. Way to go! <laughs> um, anyway, there's uh, in, so in addition, you can. Still you... Me, no, no. What still bothers me is is Kevin Eastman at Comic Con even said like, guys, I've I've looked at this stuff and I'm telling you it's going to blow your mind. Every time Kevin Eastman has to come out and reassure the Turtle fans, I, I get like more increasingly doubtful. Well, it, it's well, because we don't. This this is all we get to see. This is these, these little, you know, leaked photos or they're Megan Fox fil- with size in her boots. Megan that's Fox with size that. on her boots. Uh, you know, because you they're how, filming how, it all on. How unsafe that is. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. Especially when the, the handle itself has spikes on Gee them as well. Whiz. And he's right. busy picking on Venus de Milo. Boy. <laughs> <laughs> God. <laughs> um, the, so you, you I'm also get to see. what turtle you're talking about when you guys keep saying this name i don't have no idea <laughs> you, you also get to see uh the a madden uh nfl uh looks like xbox 360 uh, game like sitting on their uh on their coffee yeah, table it's a madden they got a couple other games on there yeah yeah i can't really make them out but um there's a there's a photo of like looks now they're the lair it's it's kind of dusty in there so it's kind it of hard also looks to like the turtles are mets fans by the way i don't know if you noticed the mets I helmet see the, them, the mets helmet in there yeah, yeah. <laughs> and uh, but the, the 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 i guess the really disturbing uh photo that came out was the one you're talking about with disguise <laughs> with Raphael in the in the trench coat uh, which that is an old school turtles you know scene but the way it's done here, uh, he looks like a Koopa from the Super oh, Mario, from Brothers, the Mario movie. Brothers movie. That's what he looks like. <laughs> he looks like he, he, he just like but it. I, I kind of like. I do kind of like the throwback, like the oh hey, remember how they wore fedoras and trench coats and like mm-hmm. that was enough to disguise them. Oh yeah, no that that's yeah. a I like that aspect. And they even put like a scarf around his face to actually hide his mouth, it's which more realistic than the mask makes that more wore. makes yeah it makes more sense. But like it's weird. His feet are like duct taped. Duct taped. Yeah. His hands are all duct taped. It's yeah. really weird. It's not like the fact he only has two toes on each foot. His hands are duct taped as well. Yeah, I. He looks like a burn victim. <laughs> it kind of it does look like a burn victim. You're right. It's very, very odd. <laughs> on the fire or something in the movie? We don't know. <sighs> Maybe. I don't know. Nah. I don't know. But nah. anyway, it's it's just be interesting to see. I I mean, I keep saying that over and over. I am anxious to see what. What in the blue hell that this movie turns out? You are but... Ryan. You're not special. In that. <sighs> you know, as I, as I look at this, and I'm looking at the at the party, and I know we're going to get to it, and I'm looking at the size of the party, and then and there's no way they'll fit in there. With they'll the fit in there. Belt. There's no way. Yeah, it's it's uh, like a. I don't even know how to. Con- it looks like they took like four or five different cars and like took parts off of all of them and just kind of jammed them all together into make some sort of vehicle. 
which it kind of makes sense as far as what maybe Donatello would do, but um, yeah, it does not look like they're going to fit in there because <laughs> I mean, they're gigantic on flatbed, uh, on, turtles. On the flatbed tow truck. Yeah, yeah. That's crazy. And the the, uh, the wheels are all sticking out off the sides. Like a Tonka everything. trunk, yeah. Yeah. So. <sighs> I still have... I, well, I mean, the movie I, kept popping up. I didn't have anything to... Uh, again, I, 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 you, what you're telling me is actually somewhat new to me because, I'm, I'm, again, I'm just catching up from... So, right. So that was... Getting, getting back. So. That was the interesting thing because a lot of this stuff actually hit during Comic-Con weekend and... Most of <laughs> most of the attention was actually on Comic Con, so a lot of people didn't notice this well, stuff until yeah, yeah. like the middle of the week. Well, I, I kept it kept coming up though. The top, I don't, you don't know okay. how many people looked at me like, "Hey, you know, I'm wearing turtle shirts. Hey, you know, there's a new turtle movie coming out. Oh no! Oh really? What? Yeah, I, it. <laughs> <laughs> I still don't know how they're gonna see out of the windows in that party wagon. By the way. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll have to the windows are like painted over. That's true. Really? Yeah, the, it's got yeah, the screen print yeah, just windows. right across the windows. It does have windshield wipers though, so that's good, just in case that it rains. doesn't make sense. Safety, 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 safety first, first and teamwork. Yes, paint then then safety. Um, <laughs> so there was, there's also that that photo with Shredder though. Right. I'm actually surprised that there's really? not like a car logo on the party wagon. Like, oh, by the way, this is a Volkswagen van from the 60s or something. What, well, hold on. <laughs> Alex, what did you say? Well, no, I'm, I'm looking at one of the photos that you sent. Now, is that from the movie set or is that an old picture with Shredder and there's a punching bag? Um, it, let me know. That, it looks like Shredder. Yes, that's, that's – a, so people have speculated that they think that that might be Shredder. It's, it should be because he's surrounded by Jabberwockies in that. It, it looks like it. Yeah, Jabberwockies picture. <laughs> There's it, it's it. This is that dusty yeah. photo that uh, I was mentioning earlier. There's it looks like it's the There's sewer. Yeah, Shredder like needs to work there. on his calves, man. He's got some chicken legs going. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> really? Chicken, sure? chicken. He's wearing like like yeah. jean shorts. Like it, it, and with like saran wrap around his tiny chicken calves. Uh, I mean, granted, I've never been on a movie set, but the CG suits that I've seen the pictures from from this movie are crazy. Yeah, they're just crazy. Yeah, it's, it, it, this is going to be very strange. I mean, it kind of reminds me of the uh, when I saw Andy Serkis kind of dressing up as Kong. Right. Um, yeah. For the Peter Jackson King Kong, it kind of reminds me of that because it was like really, I was like, God damn, how are they going to pull that off? Yeah. So I, I, I'm sure they'll do okay. Um, but yeah, it, it's a much different uh, feel to anything that's come before. I'm, I'm really, I'm trying to hang in there with it too. Again, I, I've got, just like you guys, I, I have a little bit of tinges of fear that this might. Oh, yeah, Kasha! <laughs> Everything like Michael Bay loves to touch and uh, screw things up, but you know I, I don't know. Um, you know if he's got minimal uh, contact with some of this stuff, Kevin's involved. Maybe it'll be okay. I don't yeah. know. Um, but yeah, every every but every where I would turn, everybody's like, "You'll never guess who they're getting to play April O'Neil." I don't know. I think who would have played April O'Neil? <laughs> Anybody but Megan Fox. Like I don't care as long as it's not Megan Fox. Uh, <laughs> but, that's uh, how you should have responded. Oh, that it was, was very, <laughs> oh gee, really I just hope it's not Megan Fox. No oh, it's Megan Fox. Um, oh dang. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody was surprised that there was no turtle panel for the movie, but I just guess as long as they don't have the dwarf plane splinter, I think I'll be. Uh, Oh, oh geez. Oh God. Yeah. <laughs> no. I. I uh, so the, I have two reasons, two two mindsets for for the whole absence of a turtles panel. Okay, I get the fact that they're shooting it right now. Um, yeah. There there were other movies that were being shot that the whole cast went to Comic Con. Uh, Guardians of the Galaxy, right? Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, they stopped filming, flew from London to um, to San Diego, did the convention, and then flew right back. So yep. um, obviously, di you know, Disney has no problem doing that. Um, <laughs> uh, now, 
you look at this situation. So I, I don't think that that's really the reason. I think it's more of the the uh, the potential for backlash. Um, yeah, I believe that's probably at this probably very well orchestrated. You know um, what will be well received will be things like yeah the the the, the new show IDW things like that. It's probably all very controlled by Nick. I mean, they got to do what they got to do to cover their ass. And if, if there's just – again, I remember last year everybody was – everybody was up in arms about the alien turtles. Yeah. The alien tur- – everywhere I went, I did not stop hearing about it. I got to the point I'm like, you know what? Just leave me alone. I don't know. I don't have the answers for you. Everybody was freaking out about it. Yeah. So, you, you know – uh well, it's I, it's gonna. I'm more than willing to give it a sh- chance. I'm more than willing to give it a chance. Uh, like well, I gave everything else a chance. So here's the thing: uh, it's, I, is it's go gonna ahead. be? It's currently set to release June 6th. So yeah. that means it's gonna come out before next year's Comic Con. So um, uh, I don't know if they're there's even gonna have. There's plenty of other conventions they can they can market. Yeah, that there's. At. There's MegaCon in Orlando, Con. the New York Megacon. one. Yeah. There's so many. Yeah. 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 Um, well, well, again, we'll just again, maybe it'll just be we'll just wait and th- see things, I guess. Yeah. But, well, you know, it, it maybe maybe it will be okay. I don't know. I mean, everybody it, was kind sure. of nervous in '09 with the big, uh, the big, um, you know, the the big thing that Peter Laird dropped the bomb and, and sold the whole franchise. Everybody was real nervous oh, about yeah. everything that was coming down the pipeline. Sure. So it wasn't just the movie. They were worried about the sh- any shows or new comics. Nobody knew what was going to happen. Yeah. So, um, you know, yeah, it'll it'll be sad if if it comes out and it really stinks and everybody's yeah the well, backlash can't be, could just can't be, be as bad as the third but, movie. Yeah, oh, as the third. Oh, I knew he was going to go there. <laughs> <laughs> hey, he keeps bringing up oh. Venus. I got to fire back somehow. <laughs> oh man, <laughs> never fails. Oh, I had that one coming, didn't I? I had yeah. it coming. Oh well. It's all right. Well, um, let's uh, let's go ahead and move to uh, let's move out of the uh, the news and into some. Uh, into some fan feedback. Uh, we've got a, a a question. I believe you mentioned his name earlier. Uh, Jake, uh, did you say Jacob? No, I didn't. No, that. you no. said uh, who? Whose name did you mention earlier? Josh Denton. Josh, that's right. There's two J's. Josh. I think Jacob. Jacob asked us a question last time, so, though. Yes. So, so Jacob. Uh, uh, it sounded like he was breaking up with us last time. Remember? <laughs> <laughs> what? He started his question like, first of all, I love you guys, but I was like, oh, he's breaking up with us. <laughs> um, uh, one of our fans, uh, Jacob uh, Harmon, uh, he sent us a, a, a message, uh, an email, and uh, so he's looking forward to the next episode. So um, Woo! congratulations. We, we've got it for you. Uh, but he also uh, had a question for us. This was a good one. Um, uh, he said... Uh, are there any characters from the Nick Turtles you would like to see an action figure for, but have, ye- but have yet to be announced? Um, Has Racking been announced yet? Because that's like the one that I'm looking forward to. Straight up Racking. Sure. I think we can all agree on that. Um, that's, the, that's in the next wave coming up. It'll be out within the next uh, couple months here. So it was announced? So. So it was announced that well, they're doing wrecking. They I, announced it like at the beginning of the year. What are you it, talking it, about? Yeah, it wasn't announced at Comic Con. It was announced a while ago. It just hasn't come okay. out yet. Yeah, it's a, that's yeah. old news, dude. Yeah, they're doing the the Victor Falco version <laughs> of wrecking. They're, they're, they're taking their sweet time <laughs> freaking getting this out. Uh, uh, it, it'll be it'll be out real soon here. The within that the hasn't next out? Uh, goddamn next four or five weeks or something you know what that actually does bring up another a, a bigger issue with and this is this is not just playmates a lot of companies do this oh, is well, that, i can't wait to hear this issue go ahead <laughs> you you have uh these announcements at 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 you know cons and you you can run into situations where you announce something and then, but you announced that it's going to be coming out like nine months from now. 
And then people forget you announced it. People either forget you announced it or people just forget about it completely. Um, And just, you know, don't even realize that it's coming out. Um, So. Okay, uh, well, has a Karai figure been announced yet? The Karai, there's um, not been any announcement of a Karai yeah. figure. Yet, I would no. want that. I would want like a Karai figure then. I would That's definitely want a Trag figure. The question is, uh, the question is that hasn't been announced, and so well, I would. Be, no, J- Jacob does say so uh, he he like a Karai and a pulverizer. So uh, pulverize. I really didn't no. care for pulverizer at all. Well, like, I, I think we're going to get – I would imagine we're going to get a mutagen man figure of some form. Yeah, of absolutely. Yeah. How about a, how about a pulverizer mutagen him. man two-pack? Until he became mutagen man. I didn't care about him at all. What about a two-pack? <clears throat> pulverizer mutagen man two-pack. What about a giant crank that's Roseanne Barr? <laughs> awesome. Uh, <laughs> I, I got to admit uh, that freaked me out. I saw it a few weeks ago when I saw that the, the clip of her. I, I freaked out, and I was like, okay, that – that is, that, that kicks yeah. ass. That's a good one. Well, is it? Doesn't that Krang have like her own like different type of robot body too? There, she's a she's. Oh yeah! Oh my god! I, I cannot wait. I, I am looking we, forward to that. So we yeah, all had you know, our. No, maybe there will be. A, yeah, maybe there will be some of these characters. I'm gonna venture to say we're probably not gonna see. Uh, uh like a character like um a As human bat. I don't think we'll see a pulverizer. I Are they announced the Leatherhead figure or no? Leatherhead. Hey, I who? Got, leatherhead. I have Leatherhead. The yeah. new one. They have Leatherhead. Yeah, the new now. one. Yeah. 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 Okay, just making sure. Um, I'll, they haven't announced Trag though. No, Trag would be cool no. too. Trag would be sick. Especially um, if they scale. Mm-hmm. I Absolutely. would. Have... Yeah, it would be cool if they could do scale Trag. If they did do a Trag. Outside of a build a figure or some kind of deluxe, it would be cool if they did a deluxe figure. Yeah, I mean they do all these guy. Uh, what is it? The talking turtles and yeah, yeah. figures you hold of uh, the same syllables. You know that that's another good yeah. point because uh, as we Alex and I were going through a lot of my old uh, action figures, I mean they came out with just random characters, uh, just Who tons of them, show? tons of mutants and uh, ones that never even showed up on the show. Doctor L, fucking like Doctor L. Well, <laughs> Um, but that may change. I'll give you. I'll throw that out there. That may change. Yeah. So, well, but, see, that's but, what I'm saying because that's you look at the you. line now, and it's mostly just variations of the turtles. Now, granted, they had plenty of variations back then, but uh, th- there was never. Well, a, a, what I tell you, I'm trying. I'm trying to hint something to you. <laughs> oh, we, I remember, we got it. I remember. <laughs> Okay. Well, I'm just. I, I remember telling you something that I. So that's pretty sweet. You. Earlier. Well, yeah. I, 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 I say is characters that have not really been in animation before may. Right. Yes. Yeah. You're being about as subtle as Pizza Hut's product middle. placement. As a punch <laughs> to the face. <laughs> there you go. Um. I'll say, I, I would have said I'm, spider bites. But uh, as we just saw, we're gonna get a spider bites. So which took long enough. Oh, spider bites kicks but, ass! What a yeah. great character! You know it'll be funny. Oh it'll be funny because they've already got the submarine coming out. If they had like that monster that tried to make the <laughs> set submarine, oh, and they like interlock oh, somehow. Oh, <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> um. What about a, what? Is there a Stockman pod coming out? Have they announced a Stockman pod? Well, gosh, I don't I think so. Well, Stockman, but if they have a turtle's mech. Stockman's kind of in this robot. Yeah, to- St- Stockman's kind of in a Stockman pot already in this current action figure. All right. I was just saying, if they, have a, the... if they have a turtle's mech, which the turtles don't have yet, why not like a full-grown Stockman pod to put Stockman in? Wouldn't what that a... be nice? You know, I, I don't know, bro. I really wish I kind of knew what they were going to do with – again, I think the Build-A-Figure or maybe adding some of the larger characters to these deluxe turtles would well, be a great go, idea. If you want to go really basic, why not a Zever and Bradford, like, pre-mutagen figure? Wouldn't that be tight? Mm. Or maybe uh, – oh, here's another thing. Oh. Maybe they could do Zever and Bradford maybe like reintroducing the mutations. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, that's they what were, I was thinking. 
about well, think about it. Weren't they able to? They were able to do a bebop and rock steady. Yeah, um, they sure did. Human form. Yeah, some form or fashion. So, uh, it might I, be hard maybe they'll effort. be able to get to some of this at, at some point. We just got to give it time because you know this turtle. It's still just starting out. You know, this is. Uh, That's true. We are still in season one. About a year. Yeah, we are still in season one. We have at least two more seasons to go. Yeah, they're working on season three right now. If if things go well, this this show could go on for a very long time. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, mm-hmm. I never. I, 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 I totally skipped over. I got a shout out to uh, uh, Rob Paulson for uh, retweeting one of our posts. Retweet. <laughs> Rob Paulson, there you go. Yeah. I saw. Oh, yeah, that. Rob's I was so happy to see uh, that. Oh, he's a great guy. What a great guy. Oh my god. Hey, Ryan, where are we coming with getting Kevin Michael Richardson on the show, by the way? That's all you, man. That's all you. <laughs> oh, uh, Darby's a huge man. Kevin, Kevin Michael Richardson. That was cool. Kevin Michael Richardson. That made my, that made my convention. That, he's... Oh, yeah, Kasha! Yeah. No, dude, uh-huh. no, that was... He, uh... Well, long story short, I hooked him up with probably one of the best pieces that I've done all year. And, um... Oh, wow. Nice. Yeah, you just... Stuff. Yeah, uh, yeah, he I, just um, I did a complete character he, spotlight he just, on him, trying to get him on oh, the yeah. show. <laughs> uh, well, Ryan, yeah, but, well, let me good let me know oh, if you, you get him on the show. Let me know. I'd like to. I'd like to. Uh, definitely look. Definitely, I'd like to tune in. No, oh, he, yeah, he's just he's a that shit. could be like I, I our Google what... Hangout episode. We get Kevin Michael Richardson, and then like Google Hangout happens. Ah, <laughs> yeah. We're talking about doing. yeah. Um, so we've got one other question, um, that I'd like to share with you guys. Um, this was from, uh, uh, on Twitter, uh, Steph, um, at go underscore dark underscore turtle. Ooh, it's a lady. It is. Uh, oh my, well, mm. <laughs> uh, email is fine. I just love it. We, we, we this is Sorry, this is I'm... what happens when four guys get into a, a room together. <laughs> We're, not We're not in the same room. room. Yeah, well, it might We're as well be We're in the same virtual room together. <laughs> We're like two thousand miles away from each other. <laughs> We're in a cyber room together. <laughs> Uh, she says hi guys which 87 TMNT episode would you like to see redone in the 2012 style think about rats think about rats Ah. absolutely mousers the whole nine love it Mm, that's a good one it Uh, is a good question too that's that's, uh, um, you know what I'd like to see I'm going to say it right now. I want to see the neutrinos. Mm-hmm. That would I, want, be mm. and I want 2013 neutrinos. That's I, I want to see Dirk Savage Mutant Hunter. I wonder why. <laughs> <laughs> Dirk Savage Mutant Hunter, yeah, it's the only episode Token Raza ever appeared yep. in. <laughs> yep. uh, I want to see 2013 neutrinos. Any neutrino episode done in 2013, I'd love to see that. <laughs> Surprisingly, that's a very – they're really popular characters with uh, some of the IDW staff. Well, that's because so in the IDW series, they're amazing. Oh, yeah. Well, uh, yeah, yeah, they're amazing in there, and, and uh, they're actually uh, – they're really, really well received by, by the comic dudes. So, I, I, yeah. I did a character spotlight on the neutrinos, and it was all about the IDW ones. I barely talked about the 87 Well, how, did, how the hell did I miss that? Boy. <laughs> Tune in. Yeah. <laughs> <Wow>. Crazy. <laughs> no, yeah. Well, and I, I really, uh, the Fugitoid, you know, reckoning Honeycut into the neutrinos. I mean, that was yep. another thing that was just so well done. So, yeah, I can't blame you. The, the neutrinos are just, they're, they're a lot of fun. They're a hell of a lot of fun. So, I can't blame you. Boy. So, that's my answer to that question. I'm going to. Uh, let's see. I'm going to say, based off of talking about Mutagen Man the, uh, uh, a couple episodes ago, that. of course, he's just been in it. Um, and even, you know, we're, we're seeing more of these older characters, Slash, you know, the evil turtle from Dimension X, that, you know, that he's going to be. Uh, Drag, uh, 
I, I'm going to even throw Fly Baxter in there now, since since we know that mm-hmm. they're sure. the tournament. Absolutely, so I'll even throw that kind of throw that in there. Um, there there may be more. Still want to we'll see those neutrinos, man. I still want to see them. <laughs> How? Well, I, I, I can't maybe blame for you. Ryan's yeah. sake. Maybe for Ryan's sake, they could get a Mona Lisa to show up. <laughs> um, basically, at this point, from the way it looks, anything can happen. That's that's pretty much it. And I, I'm personally looking forward to the return of uh, Triceratons. I'd love to see some Triceratons uh, on yes. it. Definitely. I'd love to see uh, Feast Toy. I'd love to see Savani Romero. Um, that was an, again a, a, another great thing about the 2003 show. Characters that I was dying to see in the classic show that never showed up. Karai, yeah, um, Savantis, Renit, uh, uh, you know, they, they popped up. Kirby needs to show yeah. up in the 2013 Kirby series. Kirby was I think. in there. I mean. Yeah. Yeah, I mean it was such a it was such a um That was a great episode. A cool run. So uh General Blank. I mean, it would be fun to see a newer interpretation. Uh, hell, you know what? What the what the fuck? Why don't they throw Hun in there? Yeah. Who knows? Anything anything's possible at this point, but again, we're just it's Hun would probably just end up too... being like a like a pre not a teenager, but like a high school guy who just graduated or something. <laughs> well, <that'd laughs> they make Hun like nineteen mm-hmm. years old. That would be cool. We'll- wow. Hey, that's it, it's interesting because hey, the, the question was... With some of the nip reps. Boy, the, the, that's a great the, idea. Because the, <laughs> the question was which uh, old episode would we like to see redone, but we all answered with what characters we'd like to see because it's well, true. A lot, of those, no, a lot of those episodes were based off of the 87 series. I said either of those episodes. Yeah, yeah. but it was all, said, because Dirk we, Savage, we identified the... was the name of the episode that Dirk Savage the Mutant Hunter appeared in, silly. Yeah, no, that's true. That's true. <laughs> Um, the, right? You're not paying the, attention to your own podcast. <laughs> okay, so so essentially, what I'm going to say is maybe you answer with a 2003. I've one, got Ryan, well, three of us. I mean. <laughs> so I'm going to I'm going to my answer is going to be also based on two characters. That's why I brought it up. Uh, I would <laughs> like to see Mondo Gecko and Napoleon Bonafrog. Oh man, yeah. bring okay. the frogs! Bring the frogs back! <laughs> Bring all four of them back. Yeah, so that that's well, that's who I, I like I, to see. I, I really like uh, I really like their, where they're going to with a lot of the new characters. Um, I mean, hey, maybe I, they'll show up with the Krang jumping mutagen everywhere. Maybe the frogs. Yeah, will show maybe up. so. Well, yeah. like again, one of the breakout characters for the, of the new villains with an old school vibe is Fishface. I think he just uh, right Zever really. He, he, I mean, not just his uh, character in general, his toy. Even just it, it kind of brings back a lot of the nods to that. Yeah, again the mutagen man, the, the the wacky kind of mixed up character scumbug. You know, he's yeah. got Fishface really, really, truly does have that feel. Um, Dog Pound grew a little bit on me, a little bit slower than Fishface, but now I'm kind of I put him up there right up with Fishface. There's a lot of there's a lot of uh, Ryan Brown. Uh, Steve Levine esque mm. styling to these characters, and I really appreciate that. So you know, again, um, again, those guys, Ryan and Steve, I'm biased. I love, I love those guys, Steve Murphy and all of them, and I, I think they just uh, a, a lot of that, a lot of that, that that ground that was set up within the the that uh yeah that classic era of uh, that we all know at this point, you know, of the the Playmates toys. Yeah, like you said, characters that were just never featured in animation or anything. But, uh, you know, maybe a couple of them got like a, a Sergeant Bananas. Oh. He got a little – yeah, he was featured in a magazine comic. Yeah. So, you know, they got a – yeah, they got a couple of knots here and there. But, uh, you know. He wasn't the banana in Turtles Forever? No. No. No, that wasn't him. <laughs> in, the, in, the comic, in the comic, he was referred to as Gorilla Gorilla. Yeah, it's it was a, yeah, it was a big gorilla. Was it was like a, a Donkey comic, Kong. So. Kind of you know book. who I'd like to see in the in the, two, in the new series too is uh, Usagi Yojimbo. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that, everybody's talking about that. That's been brought up. I think there's some talk there's about that. It might be kind of. Him. Um, I believe there is, but it's kind of tough right now because there's a lot of uh, 
uh, there's a lot of personal issues that the it's the Stan. family's going through. Yeah, like, Stan's Stan's family. Family. yeah his so, wife and all that. Yeah, it's a yeah, it's a, it's a little yeah. bit of a rough time. So I believe that has something to do with negotiations. Yeah, but they, they are working on these things. They are working on these things. There's another classic. Uh, character from that Mirage era that had crossed over with the Turtles in the comics that they are trying to get it thrown in there and it, everybody kind of has, not everybody but some people have heard the rumors about the, the Flaming Carrot. I was gonna say Flaming oh. Carrot. Wow. Um, Interesting. Those rumors are What about that uh, uh, we, talk, oh, we talked about her on the show the, the fox, the female. Oh. Uh, Ninjara. Um, Ninjara, Ninjara, yes. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be a good one too. Ninjara. I mean, Donnie's gonna need somebody new after Casey um, steals April. It could happen. So, yeah. <laughs> it could happen. Anything can happen. As we as we all know, I mean, Sarah's a big fan. You know, like he's th- this stuff isn't foreign to him. So, you know, who knows? Who knows what we'll end up seeing? I, the, I do. The entire, yeah, the entire pantheon. He's uh, he's very familiar with. Yeah. Um. So. You know his his heart is right there in that old school vibe, in my opinion. I think yeah. he really he he gets it. He's he's a fan. He understands. Um, and what's cool about that he's he's open to things that he he doesn't even know about. Nobody can know every little tiny aspect. So I mean, people might come up to him and and say, "Hey, look, Sierra, did you know this about the turtles? Did you know this about the mythos?" Right. You're like, "Oh my God, I I didn't know that. Oh my God, I gotta." You know, he gets excited. He's like a big kid. He just wants to know it all. Sure. And um, you know, his he's he's great. He's just very open minded, very cool. And um, you know, I I I really yeah. I, I've after this convention, I've gotten so much more respect for the Nick crew than I ever had before. I mean, so you oh, know, it's it's been a it's been a scary news. couple years here. So yeah. Nickelodeon, for the most part, I think really is 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 really got hit, hit hitting the nails on the head. Not saying it's perfect, but they're they're. I, I in my opinion, I think they're they're doing pretty good. So well, that's and that's coming from you, and 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 I know that uh, I I know of you know your past and, and everything, and and your oh, your love for the turtles, and and uh, and uh, you know I, if that's coming from you, you know that's that's certainly they're, they're doing something right. So um, well, and and again. I always feel free to disagree with me. I mean, I, I, I have an open mind even to the point where, I'll, you know, if you disagree with me, I'm not going to hold you yet against you. I, I want everybody's take on the fandom is going to be different, and your love of the turtles is going to be different than sure, mine. Sure. Your history, your, your, your level of passion. Some people are going to be more, again, the casual, the casual fan. Like we're talking about the gentleman from uh, – Entertainment Weekly just kind of I, I would just presume that he's more of a casual fan, you know, and, and mm. it probably just that fandom probably didn't extend beyond the and, and that's not chastising him. I'm just saying it probably didn't extend beyond the, the toys in the original cartoon. And that was it. Yeah. Cool. Mm-hmm. So, you know, I, we've <sighs> it, again, it's been the best thing to happen to me. The turtles have been very good to me and they've been very hard on me, too. So I I, th- I think at this point in my life I look at it as just being very lucky to have uh, had the encounters that I've had and and the pe- people that I'm meeting now like you guys and 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 people at the convention they they stop and they we talk turtles I mean these are the people I wish I grew up with right these are the people I wish I knew when I was a kid because actually my growing up turtles it was I was pretty much alone I mean I didn't have too many people I could talk Boyakasha! turtles with and play the games <laughs> with you know maybe here and there but it sure. was i mean i didn't you know i didn't get to interact with all that so it's it's really it's actually kind of funny i mean even in the middle of a you know my by my bus trip i mean you know people are they're stopping they're like whoa t- turtles oh my god you know my favorite you know turtle was this and oh you know it's it's great and so and now we're seeing what uh, gosh, our third or fourth generation, you know, of, of turtle fans. It's it's amazing. Yeah, it really is phenomenal. I mean, and you can go, oh, it makes me feel old. I'm like, nah, don't don't even look at it that way. You just, you know, <laughs> it's just a continuation of just something really cool. And it, 
And it, it's something that I knew a long time ago, but nobody believed me back in the 90s. I was like, I mean, you guys realize just how much the turtles have impacted pop culture. Oh, yeah, yeah, whatever. Yeah, okay, Toka, you're crazy. Are you sure about that? I mean, <laughs> uh, even back, even the back then. I mean, uh, and this is like what the next mutation era. I was seeing that. I was seeing the seeds being sown, and nobody believed me. <laughs> now look around you. When the turtles are taken practically over the entire Mall of America. Yeah. I mean, yeah. at the Mall of America right now in the Nickelodeon universe, it's the summer of turtles. Yeah. I think that's saying something there. Yeah, absolutely. So that's just one tiny little example, but everywhere you go, there's turtle stuff. I think we're kind of in a new renaissance, and, you know, again, it's a great time to be a turtle fan, so we're just beating a dead horse right now. That, so. that is a testament to, to Nickelodeon and to, you know, Viacom that, uh, yeah. Yeah. that they're doing something right because, uh, <laughs> I mean, the word is definitely out that the uh, the turtles are – I mean, I, I wouldn't say the turtles are back because I don't think they really ever left, but – no, they never left. Yeah, See, they've always but, been around in some form or fashion. Yeah, but the, more people are at least aware. And, that's uh, a, that's a very good good way of putting it. More, the awareness level. Uh, I mean, in, and in all fairness, it's it's about the money. I sure. understand. You know, I think Viacom has way more money, money in marketing than yeah the Mirage licensing could ever pull off. I mean, God bless Mirage. I mean, don't get me wrong. I mean, but. That's this is just how it is. I mean, uh, you know, they, Viacom's got the dough to push behind the turtles, and they can just push it to the forefront. So now, you know, the turtles really can stand up to the big wigs and compete right alongside Superman and Batman and Star Wars, and just Absolutely. you know, they can all no, duke it all out. Yeah, there's <laughs> no reason why it can't. That's for sure. But um, I, I, but again, on that more human connection, I think. That's the stuff that money can't buy. I mean, you can't – Viacom, nobody can replace that type of connection it has with people. And I've, I've seen this with the littlest of children, like infants, to people in their 90s. I am not kidding. Mm. I've seen this touch every facet of every age bracket, of every generation. It's just phenomenal. And so, again, I've been cursed and very blessed all at the same time. <laughs> and I'm, overall, I'm very thankful. So I'm thankful for your guys' time, too, and your interest. In, uh, Absolutely. Well, being, hey, yeah, no, we part of this. appreciate you being able to come on and, and share your experiences out there at San Diego. And uh, it, it definitely uh, helps to have, you know, the, the, uh, the feedback from somebody that was there, you know, on the ground, you know. Uh, fight well, a good fight. I'm sorry, I can't. You know, <laughs> I'm not there as a as a uh, a media person. I'm there as a professional looking for work. So I I, yeah. I can only do so much. And I, I really wish I could say, oh yeah, I got the, the inside scoop of this, and I gotta interview this person. Oh no 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 no. You know, there's a oh, there's a no. million other YouTubers out there that can provide that. Not me. Oh I, yeah, I, absolutely, absolutely. I'm but out we, there we to try to cover my ass. So no, again, hey, I, I apologize. We we wanted to get the you know the the feedback from not just not just somebody but somebody who's a real turtle fan. You know, and we know that. Uh, okay. We definitely know you are so um uh well it's good to converse with fellow turtle fans again i kind of wish you guys were the type of people i wish i grew up with because i mean <laughs> you know it, it, in a way you know we're kind of just big kids really and absolutely. you know what more power to us so. absolutely absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. no doubt about that <laughs> yep um well, I guess, guys, let's uh, let's go ahead and, and wrap it up. Um, uh, <laughs> Sorry, before... <laughs> I thought that was funny. <laughs> it's, uh, it's 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 only two uh, hours and forty five minutes in. I, I, I guess this one is going to be. It's a two parter. Uh, it's definitely a two parter. I got two <laughs> shout outs, by the way, real quick before. Oh we yeah, end. go ahead. Um, two fans. Uh, number one being Josh Denton. His name's been thrown out there a couple times already. Josh Ooh, lives in. Hey. Josh Denton. Denton. Yeah. Dude lives in Australia. Heard he listened to the last episode. Listened to how right. I make it to free comic book day. <laughs> and yeah. he him and his girl went to went to free comic book day. They each got one. He's sending me from Australia his free wow. comic book day comic. Uh so wow. hey, what a nice guy. Wow. That's, See, that's again, awesome. there, I mean, nothing awesome. beats these turtle fans, man. They I mean 
some of them just step up to the plate and they really shine. And it's not with any other fandom I've really seen anything quite like this. So, I mean, that's just one tiny example where that that human connection, man. I, I just, I'm sorry, I just don't see it quite the way this fandom has touched people and other things. Maybe, maybe I'm wrong, but maybe it's just me. <laughs> I'm just saying that's that's a perfect example right there. Wow. Absolutely. And then uh, shout out to um, a good friend of mine, Ray Fitzgerald, who's actually really good friends with Stan Sakai. Um, he uh, Yay, hooked me up Ray. with a, yeah, <laughs> he's, uh, he hooked me up with a 2004 uh, uh, Playmate, um, um, uh, 2004 uh, Playmate uh, Usagi Ojimbo. Sorry. Oh, oh, nice. cool. oh, the, oh, yeah, the, the slashing one. The slashing yeah, that one. That is a the, figure, isn't it? It is. It definitely is. It's pretty sick, though. Yeah, like we, the, uh, yeah, we better get it. We better get a uh, Usagi cameo so we can get a new Usagi toy. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. That would be yeah. cool. So, uh, I'd, I'd also like to say. see a, a, again, again cameo because we need a new. <laughs> Poor Gen, man, he did not get a good toy. <laughs> Uh, you, know, hate, um, you you remember you know what I'm talking about? He had that little push button feature, and he's he's all over the map. That poor, oh, that's a, oh, I felt so bad because he's such a great character. Oh man, and what the heck were they thinking? <laughs> Damn, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm no, sorry. no, no. Okay. Well, as I just it just popped into my head too that. Uh... The one thing I do like about the slash that's going to be coming on the next series is that he's the teal color. That's the same teal color that was in the action figure. So yeah, it just popped. Well, in my head. He's got, yeah, he's got a, a definitive styling. I, I would. Uh, it would seem to me that he's. Uh, uh, again, he seems to be. He's got a little tiny bit of an Archie vibe to him. Maybe yeah. it's just me. Yeah. Maybe I'm biased. <laughs> I'm going to guess, and I could be wrong, I'm going to guess the same designer that designed Metalhead. That, yeah, uh, I could see that. designed Flash. I could, I could, see could that. be wrong. Yeah. I could be wrong because that, that gentleman that designed Metalhead worked on Transformers Animated. There's a tiny bit of a, that type of uh, vibe and that style. Uh, I could be wrong. Anyway, that's a, hmm. a brain fart. Neither here nor there. But I'm, I'm just guessing. I, mean, I, I you know, I, that's something I should have asked Zero, and I didn't. I, oh well, yeah, sorry. Question Can't number one for there. next time. That's it. <laughs> um. Uh. So so uh. This is this is just a a, a quick uh, a note for for all of our listeners. Um. We're about to have a whole uh, new group of listeners. Uh, I I had really? the opportunity to yeah to be on a uh, a super popular podcast um, that'll be airing in the in the next couple weeks slash couple months. I'm not exactly sure, um, uh, but I got to go on and talk about this show, uh, and uh, I'll I'll include a clip from that podcast once it airs. Um, cool. if you, if you want to get an idea of what podcast I was on, uh, you can head over to iTunes and check our reviews, uh, a reviewer there, John underscore you, uh, he was at this podcast. It was a live podcast and, uh, he said he hasn't listened yet. So this is his this is his review. Because remember we said we were going to be leaving. Uh, we were going to talk about our five star reviews. He says he hasn't listened yet. <laughs> Not the two star. <laughs> no. Wow. He says haven't haven't listened yet. But I heard about this at the blank blank podcast tonight. Uh, oh, just to- say what it is. No, I'm not going to say because if they want to know, they're going to have to go to iTunes. And hey, while you're there, leave us a review. Yeah, now now we're going to get shitty ass reviews because you wouldn't tell them. <laughs> I know, right? This guy's a D bag. He won't tell us anything. Hey, we had to come here to look this stuff up. Uh, no, it, you know, it's, 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 you, you, essentially, you'll be able to say that you were pre, you know, such and such. You'll, you'll, you'll be in the, the, the pre crowd before, before the word really got out there. But let's just say the person on the podcast was, he was pretty stoked about um, about our show. So good. Um, anyway, uh, the song of the show tonight, guys. Uh, I believe we're going to go with uh, 
Tarzan Baltimore. boy? Baltimore. 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 Tarzan oh, there boy. There you go. Okay. From... Wh- so, which so movie is that from? Guess here is a big fan of the third movie, I figured. <laughs> oh, come on. No, I wasn't that bad. <laughs> hey, I, I wasn't that bad. I, lo- I loved, uh, the, I mean, that song, yeah, yeah, that and the ZZ yeah, Top yeah, song. Yeah, I've got it. It was pretty the good. Episode. Yeah. I, I've been pushing for Baltimore since the first episode. We just ran out of song. I was like, hey. No, stop it. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, it's from the from uh, Turtles 3. And uh, uh, so thanks, everybody, for, for uh, listening in. Um, uh, make sure you're happy. I appreciate it. Yeah. Thanks uh, to to- Toka. Um, uh, you want to let our listeners know where they can find you online? Um let them know where they can connect yeah. with you. Yeah, currently I'm on uh, gogreenmachine.org, all one word. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's, uh, I do the best I can to cover everything that I can scour. Um, it's it's not easy because I'm always working, so I, I, I do the best I can. We got a little tiny crew there that updates as we can. So my main website is terribletoos.com. Mm-hmm. And uh, I'm working on a 13th anniversary contest. So um, long story short, the grand prize will be the first ever collaboration uh, with me and uh, everybody's favorite, Ross Campbell. Mm. So oh, cool. Um, that will be the grand prize, and uh, I'm all, I'll have a couple of like a second and a first place first place prize. But yeah. 13 years I've been doing this, and uh, it's been quite the uh, quite the ride. So uh, hopefully there'll be another 13 years, and you'll know, get one 13th year anniversary in this year. So. <laughs> there you go. We'll, we'll, uh, with a Z dot com. Yeah, we'll we'll definitely include links uh, in the in the show notes as <laughs> well uh, for for your size and on Twitter, of course at t toka. T O K K A. Just uh, right. keep in mind, it's uh, I just I sometimes speak my mind. So if you don't like that, don't don't subscribe. It's <laughs> like a little rambunctious sometimes. So try to keep my cool, but you know, it's uh, Toka, Toka has a tendency own. to snap. <laughs> I like it. Uh, I like it. Um, you, you guys can uh, visit us on our uh, official website turtlepowerpodcast.com you can follow us on twitter at tmnt podcast you can follow oh, yeah. <laughs> you can follow ryan uh myself uh at fig don pat you can follow uh, uh, alex at a rodriguez 2005 or you can follow darby at lobo dtp uh, you can like us on Facebook, facebook.com slash Turtle Power Podcast, and uh, uh, share your feedback with mouth. us. Old fashioned email, Turtle Power Podcast at gmail.com. <laughs> yep. Uh, guys, I think that's going to do it. Uh, we've uh, we, we may have hit a new high here with uh, <laughs> recording times. But, uh, oh boy, it, it's, that it, was long. It's hey. been a blast. Uh, uh, you know, it, it's That's good. Just don't make me say cowabunga or anything. <laughs> uh, God, well, Darby's really the only one with the catchphrase on this on this show. That's oh, because hey. I was told hey, other guys. people were going to have catchphrases, and <laughs> I was lied to from the very beginning. <laughs> As usual. <laughs> As usual. As per usual. All right, Line guys. Answered. Thanks thanks so much uh, once again. And thanks to all our listeners. We'll talk to you next time. Goodbye. Goodbye.